welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. Today we are going to start a new video session that is on AWS Security Group. If my video is informative please like the video and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date. So let's start today's uh, session AWS Security Group. So let's start uh, security groups on AWS. So a security group is basically a, a firewall, a firewall. So let's start uh, security groups for your virtual private cloud. So a security group acts as a virtual firewall of your EC2 instance to control incoming and outgoing traffic. Incoming rules are control the incoming traffic to your instance and outbound rules control the outgoing traffic from your instance. When you launch an instance you can specify one or more security groups. If you don't specify a security group Amazon EC2 uses a default security group. By default in Amazon there is a security group that is called a default security group. You can add rules to each security groups that allow traffic to or from its associate instances. You can modify the rules for the security group at any time. New and modified rules are automatically applied to all instances that are associated with the security groups. When Amazon EC2 decides whether to allow traffic to reach an instances, it evaluates all the rules from all the security groups that are associated with the instances. When you launch an instance in VPC, you can assign up to five security groups to the instances. You can launch the five security groups to an instances. Security group acts act at the instance level, not the subnet level. We cannot add the security group in any subnet. That means when we, if in the firewall we configure the ACL, this is not an ACL. You cannot assign in the subnet. You just assign that rules into the instance level. Therefore, each instances in a subnet in uh, your VPC can be assigned to a different set of security group. There are some security groups basics. You can specify allow rules but not deny rules. In a security group you can only create uh, allow rules, not you, you cannot create any deny rules. You can specify separate rules for inbound and outbound traffic. You can create a separate rule for inbound traffic, you can create a separate rule for outbound traffic. Security groups rules enables you to filter traffic based on protocols and port numbers. Security groups are stateful. That means this is monitored all kind of traffic which is incoming to the instances and outgoing to the instances. If you send a request from your instances, the response traffic of the request is allowed to flow in regardless of inbound security group rules. Responses to allowed inbound traffic are allowed to flow out regardless of the outbound rules. Next, when you create a new security group it is not inbound rules. Therefore no inbound traffic originating from other host to your instances is allowed until you add inbound rules to the security group. Suppose you are creating a security group named named this uh, test. So you you you, uh, uh, you uh, just create the security group, but you cannot add or assign in any instances that security group. Okay, so that security group would not work. So after you create instances, when you assign it into the inbound interface or the outbound interface. 
then only that security group assign there is no specific rules for inbound there is no specific uh, options for outbound you just create the rule and you just assign to a particular inbound or a outbound interface in an instances by default a security group includes an outbound rule that allows all outbound traffic you can remove the rule and add outbound rules that you allow specific outbound traffic only if your security group has no outbound rules no outbound traffic are originating from your instances is allowed by default is it is implicit deny you are by default there is a security group and that permission is all traffic allowed from out, outgoing that means I can access any uh, kind of website from my EC2 instances but suppose you are blocking some kind of uh, port or some kind of service from the uh, outbound traffic so then only the security uh, that then only the instances cannot communicate with that specific kind of port or uh, something so this is the rules and by default if you if you if you delete the outbound traffic or if you, if you delete the outbound rules by default uh, uh, implicit deny is automatically assigned to the machines that means you cannot communicate to the outside everybody is communicating to you because you, uh, that means you are a remote desktop or a SSH to the machine but after connecting the remote desktop or SSH that machines cannot communicate to the out of the box here are quotas on the number of a security groups that you can create per VPC the number of rules that you can add to each security groups and the numbers of security groups that you can associate with the network interface instances associated with the security groups can talk each other unless you add allowing the traffic next how this rules are works we we just see that so this is your EC2 machines this is your user that user is communicating the EC2 machines through security groups so this is your security groups which is assigned to the EC2 machines so user are communicating to EC2 machines so that is a inbound traffic that means from outside the world the user is connecting to the EC2 machines that is the inbound traffic and EC2 machines communicate to the outside of the world that is called outbound traffic so security group is you can say this is just like a, uh, a security guard you can say suppose you are going to a shopping mall there is a security guard so when you entering into the shopping mall so security guard will check that uh, uh, you have something like you uh, do you have a gun or something explosive with you they just check so this is inbound when you entering the shopping mall after you sh after you sh uh, in inside the shopping mall entering the shopping mall you just uh, shopping all those things and when you exit security guard again check your bill you what kind of uh, shopping you did so that is outbound traffic okay so security group is just like that part of the security guard when you entering the shopping mall it will check when you are going out it will check next so you can see this is a EC2 instance and this is the public IP address something x dot x dot x dot x uh, then you have assigned two security groups security group one for inbound and security group one for outbound and there is something port and uh, something is allowed port and IP is configured here to allow or deny not deny allowed so your computer IP is x dot x dot x dot x so you are uh, you are authorized to access that instances with the port number 22 
so you are uh, open your uh, putty and you are accessing the uh, system so you are requesting port 22 and security group checks and it is allowed and you can enter the EC2 machines but somebody other they cannot authorize to the port ac uh, cannot authorize to access the 22 port because I am only allow this IP address then that other computer is blocked to access the instances but if we want to access to the outside of the world by default any IP any port is allowed so EC2 instance can access everything to the outside because any port any IP address is allowed so up to this it is clear to you I guess so if you have any problem please comment I just I will clarify you so next I am going to the practical part so this is my Amazon EC2 instances uh, EC2 console so I just go to the EC2 under EC2 you just scroll down under network and security you can see security group option is showing there just click on the security group you can see that by default this by default this is a secure default security group and you cannot delete this security group just I just want to try to uh, delete this security group delete security group but we don't have any permissions to delete the security group you just see delete option is blurred so by this is a se default security group uh, so now I just create a new security group over here so I just uh, create a security group uh, IT smart security group here is the description is allow SSH so here you have to select the default VPC I have only one VPC so I just select this VPC here you can see that outbound rules is already configured over here so now I just at first I add rule here I can select custom TCP that means we have to uh, define the port number and all the descriptions over here or you can uh, select SSH this is a template you when you select SSH it will automatically take the port 22 so I am just show you uh, custom TCP port 22 and the source is custom you can set 0000, 000. that means any network ID with any subnet mask uh, they can access that particular system ok so you can select anywhere it will take automatically you can see this is for IPv4 and this is for IPv6 or you can select my IP so this IP automatically select this is up your public IP address through which you are accessing the Amazon EC2 so now one more thing we can also configure here the HTTP port also here you can select HTTP there is port 80 you just set 0000, 000. and you add one more rule that is HTTPS or something I just I just configure only HTTP ok I, I don't configure here the uh, SSH rules over here and the outbound traffic all traffic is allowed ok they just create the security group so my security group is created here you can see the allow SSH is showing in the description I just go once more the security group you can see this is my security group which I configured over here 
here you can see that uh, the HTTP port is 80 is allowed you can edit this rule once again so my security group is created now I just create a instance when you create an instance we have to select a security group so I just launch instances I select here Ubuntu free tire next add storage default next then you just configure the click the configure security group this option I just select this so here is the option create a new security group I am selecting the existing security group which is this IT smart is security group here HTTP TCP port 80 any network is allowed no SSH cheat allowed over here review and launch here you can see there is a showing and warning you will not be able to connect to the instance AMI to the port 22 because we don't have allowed to the SSH over here just continue this is the description all we configured next now I am selecting a create new pair key pair name is Ubuntu download the key pair ubuntu.pem is downloaded so now I just go to the start and search puttigen select the puttigen load the file pim file which I recently downloaded just select pim file ok save the key saved so next I just go to the putty software uh, before that I have to just launch the instance because it will uh, take some time to create uh, is showing it is in pending state if I select this uh, you can see the public IP address of that instance 13.2.3.3.79.2.6 is the public IP address so now I just go to the putty application select the putty application paste port number 22 select SSH auth browse and select the PPK file this one and open check that uh, yes in my instance is running so I just open so you can see that it's unable to connect because uh, in my uh, security group you can see that connection is terminated okay uh, I just go the security group once again here you can see I just only allow HTTP I am now I am adding the SSH uh, SSH and select uh, anywhere and save the rule so now I am trying to access the same I just restart the session yes it is connected
see it is connected I am connecting this with the public IP address of this instance this one the public IP so I am sending a pin request to this and you can see I am unable to ping because by default the ping is block okay so what I have to do same I just go to the security group I just do one thing I just uh, I just continuous ping I just run the continuous ping so that we can understand more say that's working properly just go to the security group edit inbound rules here you can see that when we add the uh, rules in HTTP um, the there is this is taken 000 slash 0 means any network ID with any subnet marks it will allow and this is for IPv4 and same thing this is for IPv6 and here both the same because I create two rules and uh, another two rules automatically created because one is for IPv4 another is for IPv6 so I'm not adding a rule and allow the ICMP version 4 only ICMP version 4 and save the rules sorry here you have to select anywhere and save so after saving you can see that we are getting ping reply request okay so this is all about the security group fundamentals so if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date so see you on next video thank you